Good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. I said I was going to release a tutorial on how to use the PS3 save games with the RPCS3 emulator using brute force save data. Hopefully we can get through this quickly um, so I won't hold up your time from your emulating, playing your games or whatever it is that you're doing. I would like to send a special shout out to all my subscribers, old and new, and I want to say thank you for supporting me and my projects, miscellaneous, whatever I do. Just want to put that out there. So I guess we'll get right on to it. So if you need the PS3 save games, there's three places that I use. I tried that save games for the PS3 or something like that. Nice looking site, but all the save seem to have passwords on it and you gotta do some survey or something so I would kinda stay clear of that page uh, which I'll probably drop a link down in the description as well to say stay away but um I use Brewology as my like number two um I do use Game Facts that's like my number three but my number one is the tech game I've had no problems downloading their save games you do have to set up a user account though I wish they do have a premium and a free one. But I mean, if we're only doing save games, which they host a lot of other things as well too, PC stuff, Xbox stuff. I mean, you can just, your heart content um, of things that you can play with on this site. So, I mean, I do say support them if that's what you're into. So, but we'll get right on to it. Cause I, like I said, I can't get a little bit long winded. So the first thing is um, you need the brute force save data application, which I'll definitely leave this down in the link. Uh, the links down in the description. Um, and then as far as the save games, I had downloaded it already. So what you want to do is um, you want to extract your once it's downloaded, you want to extract it. So then here's the save game. Um, then you want to point the application to that particular folder which I have, should have it in the list already. You can click this down arrow anything you used previous to um, it'll pop up in the list. So here we go. So the first thing okay the serial number as you can see this is the US version of the game and the save that I download was from the European version. I guess that's when I pop that thing it'd be like uh oh but no um, I, I download this was for a reason because a lot of save games I notice are from like different regions which in the brute force save data you can change the region so it can work with your game as well too so and then after looking at this when it says be sure to load the system data first before you load these save games so with that being said we have to go through the steps you use this same methodology with all the save games. Some games, only thing, the only one that I found that was having a problem was Call of Duty. But we'll discuss that probably in a later video. Or if you ask, I'll let just let you know how it works. If you get to that point that you want to cheat in Call of Duty, I'll show you how to get those saves to work as well too. So first thing you want to do is is that you want to right click. Well, actually, you click on the first one, and then you right click off into the the window here. And the first thing you want to do is click this, rebuild with current profile full, not partial. You definitely need to do full. Do you want to update? You want to tell it yes. Okay, so once it's updated, next you want to decrypt it. Because you can see it changed the profile name, so whoever this profile is, but it changed the profile so then you want to decrypt it next so you, actually you can right click in here as well too and tell it decrypt all files do you want to decrypt the save data yes next what you want to do is you want to right click again go in and then you want to tell it to unlock save to work on any account do you want to unlock the save to make it you want to tell it yes so once that's done, that's basically it. But now we have to change the region because this region is not the one that we need for our game. So you go back to your game, 
you go you right click and then you want to go to copy info and you want to take the serial number once you have the serial number you go back to the same window right click and then you want to go here where it says change title ID and region so then you paste it in and you tell it OK and that's basically it so we definitely need that one so then we'll just randomly pick something out the blue so let's see just to show that it does work um, we'll try 15 so we'll go over the steps again you want to go here rebuild with current fur file tell it yes next you want to decrypt it decrypt all files it says 32 files you tell it yes next you want to go to works on any ps3 and you tell it yes and then the last thing we want to do is change the title so we're basically the region which is to the one that we want and you tell it okay so now we got 15 and 0 so those are the two folders out of there that we have to get the information from which it may if you notice the serial number here is changed so here's the first one is B C E S but now we need the US so here's the two folders here so you can actually close this it's gonna ask you do you want to close it without encrypting the files you're gonna tell it yes close so then we're gonna go to that and we're gonna copy that out and here's the new folder that it created so if you notice it has ES there and then we need the US so you're gonna copy that out the simplest way that I figured out to how to get to the save games you're gonna go to save game data it normally takes it a few seconds and then you want to tell it the view folder so once you click the view folder you want to hit this arrow here and go up one so this is all of the save games that's listed in there so what you want to do is just copy and paste it into the folder so let's see we're gonna paste it so that's the sys data that they were saying that we need to use and we need to go back and then we're gonna go back to 15 here we go and then like I said you definitely need to make sure you take the correct folder so we're gonna copy this out and we're gonna go back to the save data which is here so then you're gonna paste it and that's it you copy it in next thing you do just load the game so we'll go ahead and boot it Okay, we'll hit the back button. Go to single player. And here we go down here, chapter 30. So then you just basically you load it, continue. And there we go. You 
So if you have any questions, comments, like, subscribe at the bottom. you're dead <laughs> interesting well like I was saying if you have any comments concerns any problems just drop a like or something or I guess not drop a like but I mean you can do you know leave a comment and then I'll get back to you as soon as I can guess I'll do a little gameplay make sure that it works like I've never played this before huh? dead again but I mean you kind of get the point so it does work and if you have any questions feel free to leave at you know a comment or you can email me which I my email is on the, the page as well too uh, you can reach out to me at the GBA temps I mean reddit I, I give you a lot of ways to get to me so um, I guess that's the end of that talk to y'all later peace